Hello folks, um, the preparation for a quant, this, uh, this it seems very vast and, and most importantly, uh, there is a mechanism that we all lack sometimes to know, hey, am I good with this topic? I've done percentages, I've learned it, I, I've revised it. Am I done with this? Am I ready at the cat level? So quant sometimes seems overwhelming because one, there's a table of contents that has 25 topics. Two, I don't know what level of proficiency is proficient enough. At what level I can be sure I've done this? At what frequency I come back and revisit a topic? How the interlinking of topics plays a role uh, in, my, in my final exam and all of those. So when to two, I'm a built up structure for it based on completely the two IM course. So I want to outline that. And so they keep saying there are three parts to learning. One is the learning fundamental part. There is the practice consolidation part. And there is the getting ready for the exam part. And so for the learning part is either done with a live online class or pre-recorded videos. So it's either you sit through the live class, learn the funda, the teacher is going to teach reasonably slowly, go through the basic theory, funda, build ideas brick by brick. Exactly same thing happens in pre-recorded videos or if you are in a classroom course with 2IM or anywhere, that's what's going to happen there. The learning part, the bricks get laid there. Okay. We've done that, finish that. Our course is structured rather beautifully. And anything, you finish the class, then there are checkpoint quizzes for each thing. And there are prep edge quizzes for each topic. Suppose you're saying you can pick a topic called say, arithmetic and geometric progression. Learn something and then there's checkpoint quiz one and two. And then there's a prep page quiz. And so what is checkpoint quiz for? Checkpoint quiz is for consolidating the idea. Just to say a plus n minus 1 into d, n by 2 into 2, a plus n minus 1 into d. Have some formula reinforced in the head where we derive it, figure it out, understand it, do a couple of questions and then ram it in and get comfortable with whatever you have learned. That's what happens in checkpoint quiz. What does our prep edge quiz do? Prep edge quiz says, hey, you got this idea. You seem to have cracked this. You are on reasonable good ground. Are you ready for the level of question you can expect in the exam? Right, so this is consolidation. This is benchmarking. This is basic. This is CAT level. That's our idea. So when you finish a topic, you hit checkpoint quiz, checkpoint quiz one, checkpoint quiz two. They're good at this. Hey, I've cracked this. I know this. You get this feeling of, hey, I got this. There are six questions here. I've got five right. There's six questions at checkpoint two. I've got four right. And the other two were silly mistakes, but I've got the funda. Then move to prep edge. If you're not good at this, then you need to reinforce the basics. So in our testing part, there's a learning part, which is a class. There's a testing part, which has two types of tests. Just basic test and cat level test. Consolidation test and advanced test. So you won't do a basic test, one, two, three. You're comfy, then move to advanced test. If you're not yet comfy, go back to the live online class, see the recording, and then come back in the same journey. So the, if, you're, if you've not consolidated an idea, then you cannot go on to prep edge. So the prep edge is the benchmarking thing. I'm comfortable. I got this. I got the basics. Then go to prep edge. You're good at prep edge. And there are seven questions. You've got six of them, right? You got, got this. Go on. Go to the next stop. You've done progressions. Go to percentages. Go to simple interest, compound interest. Go to mixtures. You'll have to revisit to revise and get practice and build speed and all of that. But you've done this topic. You've got it. You've got the hang of this. Go on to the next one. You're uncomfortable. Then there's a bunch of advanced tests there. When you've got these advanced tests, grab them, do one of them, you get comfortable. The basics are in place and then you do advanced tests, you've got one of them, you're nice, I, I get the hang of this. You're good at this, go back to prep edge, revisit it, go through it one more time, you're comfy, exit. You do this advanced test, you're not yet comfortable, you feel like, look, I've got, I get six questions out of ten, but I'm not there. Do one more of them and then the moment you get comfortable, finish prep edge and get out. This is the learning cycle, fine. We need to know, have I got the funda right? Am I grasping it? That is here. Have I got the consolidation right? Given I've learned three formulae, can I just plug in the three formulae, get the answer reasonably quickly? That happens here. Am I ready for the exam? Am I game ready? Okay, that happens here. Along the checkpoint level quiz level, we have basic test. At the prep edge quiz level, we have advanced test. One more round to get comfortable. Will I run out of questions after I've digested the topic? No, no. For each topic, there are probably six of these and ten of these. So you finish percentages in one go. You're there. You exit. That's fine. And then you come back after three months and say, look, I've got all the fundas. I don't want to go through it again, but I want to take a bunch of cat level tests to see where I stand. Go here, take them, ramp up the speed. And so this is a learning path for every single topic in quant. 
this is available this is available plenty of these are available plenty of these are available it's up to you to just figure out how you sit in now not overdo any topic not jump out of a topic too soon okay. now just one small thing there are topics like number theory and geometry but the pattern changes a little bit because these topics are past so geometry will have geometry triangle geometry circle geometry quadrilateral geometry mixed bag and then an overall wrap of all of these therefore sometimes at an overall level this will work for geometry but you can't do it. you can't just do practice questions at an overall level so do geometry triangles do checkpoint quiz 1 2 do prep edge and then exit to geometry 2 it could sometimes happen that the prep edge of geometry triangles you really become better at it only after you have done all three or all four geometry classes so you the practice of having seen something from circles and tangents reinforces an idea in triangles it can happen therefore geometry and number theory whether multiple classes in the same topic you have to have an overall class view also this is not just for geometry one this is for whole of geometry do geometry triangles do one round then even if it's not completely there do geometry circles do one more round then do geometry polygons and quadrilaterals. Do one more round. Now look at geometry overall and go through this path. It will fall in place. And so, very important to feel that you've cracked something before you go to the next thing. This framework is super useful for that. And very important to know when to jump off. Sometimes I find students saying, look, I spent 10 days, 15 days, 20 days. Now I am the king of percentages. It will seem like you've grabbed it. Even then you come back after three months, it's going to feel like, look, I didn't get it. I thought I had consolidated it, but it's not happening. That happens so you don't need to completely kill a topic to go to the next one and sometimes it's counterproductive not from that topics point of view but from the overall point of view there's only so much time so you shouldn't overdo any given topic and so keep this in mind hopefully this provides a beautiful framework to navigate through the course this is specifically tailored to the language and link at to IM. so there is a checkpoint there is a prep edge there are basic tests there are advanced tests but as a learning path, this holds good for anything. Probably the different things will be named differently, but it's good to go. Right? Best wishes.